take and lovely to meet you and um, you were so uh, generous and kind in connecting me with a lot of yeah. female um, people in the domain which is lovely <laughs> I'm always getting reprimanded for not having enough women but it's just hard I think women have a lot more um, commitments and so it's harder to get them but it's great that you did that and great that you could come tonight yeah. so I was wondering if you could tell me what you guys do at Orchid and how that uh, relates to tokens yeah sure so at Orchid we are building a decentralized VPN client application that is powered by the Orchid token so what uh, Orchid's mission is is to really open up the internet to everyone everywhere and make sure that everyone kind of has equal access to the internet and the token is what allows you, we're using probabilistic nano payments on top of Ethereum, which are allowing us to scale Ethereum, reduce gas costs, and also unlink transactions on Ethereum for privacy. So only the winning transaction is then sent on chain. Mm. So you stake the ORCID token on the network, you route bandwidth through the network, and you actually get paid ORCID tokens for routing your bandwidth. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what do you what do you see in your overview as you have at Orchid mm -hmm. um, that's happening? What's the state of play with tokens at the moment, generally? Yeah, I mean, in the broader overall market, I would say that there definitely has been a lull. You you know, Bitcoin predominance is now at seventy percent, and I guess at the top of the market, uh, Bitcoin predominance was about twenty three percent. So I think that it's been a very healthy transition. We saw a lot of things kind of come in that didn't really need decentralization. They didn't really need yeah. a token. Yeah. And it's nice to see a lot of those kind of flushed out, though yeah. I know a lot of investors did get hurt in that, yeah. uh, unfortunately. But hopefully that, that trend is kind of over. And a lot of those people have moved out of the market and really the builders are what are left. And I think that a lot of the projects on Ethereum especially are going to launch at either at the end of this year or next year. So I'm really excited to kind of see a lot of these uh, platforms come to fruition and really see really see utility tokens uh, on, on the Ethereum blockchain. Great. And um, what's your personal vision of where we're heading as far as the token market goes? Yeah, I think that I'm very optimistic. I think right. that we're really kind of building out the layer one foundation. And as that develops, we'll see more and more applications build on top of that. So right. I think that the state of the tokens, yeah, I'm really we'll excited. Good. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. That's yeah. great. Very optimistic. <laughs> well, thanks again for coming. And yeah. I think it'll be a great panel tonight. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm excited. Yeah. Thank you all.